Welcome back, Grade 8, Lesson 9 on Chemical Change is the last lesson in this series. We are busy with decomposition reactions where a single compound is broken down into simpler substances. So the next example is potassium nitrate breaking down into potassium nitrite and oxygen. I am going to start off uh, with the formulas because you must be able to draw ball diagrams from formulas. Potassium, the symbol is K, and nitrate is a compound iron where three oxygens has joined to a nitrogen atom. When you heat this compound, then it forms potassium nitrite, where potassium has joined to nitrogen that has two oxygens joined to it. So the nitrite is NO2. And it forms oxygen, and oxygen is diatomic. Right, we are going to use the ball diagrams to balance the chemical reaction. So let's start with it. Potassium is in period four, so it is a much bigger atom than nitrogen and oxygen that you will find in period two. So the oxygen is joined three oxygens to one nitrogen. Right. So that could be the ball diagram for potassium nitrate. It decomposes upon heating to form potassium nitrite, where Nitrogen is joined to two oxygen atoms. Right, and it forms oxygen. Now, with this, we can see that on the left hand side we have three oxygens, where we have four oxygens on the right hand side. That's a problem. So I guess we need to start with the oxygens because the potassium as well as the nitrogen is balanced. You've got one of each on each side of the arrow. So to add another oxygen on this side, we actually need to add another potassium nitrate. So we need to add the nitrate joined to the potassium. In doing that, I'm creating one, two, three, four, five, six oxygens on the left hand side where we have only one, two, three, four on the right hand side. Now we have created another problem by adding two potassiums where on the right hand side I've got only one potassium and we have added two nitrogens where we have only one nitrogen on the right hand side so it looks like obvious to me to add another potassium nitrite in order to balance all the chemicals all the atoms let's see now two potassiums on the left hand side, two potassiums on the right hand side. Two 
nitrogens on the left hand side, two nitrogens on the right hand side, and six oxygens on the left hand side, six oxygens on the right hand side. So to balance the equation in symbols, we need two potassium nitrates, two potassium nitrites, and one oxygen. The last decomposition reaction in this uh, video is that of potassium permanganate going to potassium manganate and manganese dioxide and oxygen. Potassium permanganate has the formula K M N for manganese and four oxygens. This compound, when you heat it, forms potassium manganate, which has the formula K2MnO4, and manganese dioxide, which is MnO2, and oxygen which is a diatomic gas. Now, if I look at this, it seems like we've been creating atoms like madness, but you know by now that we can't create atoms like oxygen. We started off with four and here we've got eight of them. We started off with one potassium and here we've got two potassiums. Now this problem can be solved by doing some simple mathematics or by using ball diagrams like I'll explain now. Potassium is in period four so it's a rather big atom. Manganese is in period as well, but it is joined to four oxygens, which you'll find in period two. So the potassium and the manganese would have more or less the same size, but the manganese has four oxygens around it, and one of the oxygens also joins the permanganate to the potassium. That forms a substance where a permanganate becomes a manganate and now the four oxygens around the manganese has two potassiums joined to it. Now these two potassiums must come from another potassium. Oh, I can't have the permanganates looking the same as the potassium. Sorry. Must come from another potassium permanganate. So I've got the potassiums sorted out there as two on each side. Wait a moment, I did them in blue just now. So I better stick to blue. There we have our four or our two potassiums on each side. Then we also need two a manganese. And it is joined to two oxygens. So it seems like we have sorted out our manganese problem. There's a manganese, there's a manganese, two of them on the left hand side, two of them on the right hand side. And we need to sort out the oxygens. Here we have our 
diatomic element, oxygen. So let's see whether we've got enough oxygens in our reaction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the right hand side. That balances the potassiums, the manganese, the and the oxygen. So I see from my ball diagrams that I need two potassium permanganates to make one potassium manganate, one manganese dioxide, and one oxygen. This ends off the section on chemical change and reactions. Thank you for watching.